Hi, so what we're going to demonstrate is a sleeper stretch, which is primarily for the external rotators, which sit on the shoulder blade at the back. They can attach in various positions across the top of the shoulder. Um, there's lots of different ways to stretch the rotator cuff, but this one in particular I find is easy. Uh, it's called a sleeper stretch because you can do it first thing in the morning and last thing at night before you go to bed. The, one of the most important things is that you don't overstretch, and anything above a 5 out of 10 in intensity can be too much. So we're just going to demonstrate the technique. So we lie onto our injured side, elbow in line with shoulder, hand in line with elbow. Keep the head rested. And for the external rotators on the back, let the arm drop to where it wants to go naturally on its own. We never force two finger pressure just to where the watch would sit. So option one, hold the stretch for less than 10 seconds. Seven seconds is appropriate. Relax, let's stretch to the next barrier. Option number two, find the stretch barrier, apply back pressure, which is this direction, for five seconds, release, retraction the stretch to the next barrier. Press back for five, release, re-stretch to the next barrier. What's paramount is that we don't roll back as we stretch. We have to stay mounted on the shoulder, keep the head rested in a rested position, and keep the square position with the arm all the way through. And we never force the arm down through, which can actually damage the rotator cuff. As a good rule of thumb, what we normally suggest is that if the stretches feel appropriate and help, keep doing them. But if you find that after you've done the stretch that it aggravates the pain in the shoulder, stop the stretch immediately.